Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the Modicon M221. In this video, we are going to see how to use the operation block that we have in EcoStructure Machine Expert Basic. So let's go to the presentation. Here is a small explanation about how we can use this operation block. Basically, if it will allow us to create some mathematical operation plus subtraction multiply divide using the variables that we have and in order to assign the value we need to use this colon and equal in our code in order to move the value of the operation into the variable that we want we're going to see this how we can use it additionally if we are working with different type of variables we have this converter so we can use this conversion in the operation block in order to create the mathematical operation that we want. And there is additional operations that we can use regarding to ASCII, communication, floating point. We have a bunch of additional functions that we can use inside this operation block. But in this case, I'm going to show you the basic ones regarding how to make uh, and add, subtract, or multiply, and then how to make the conversion, which is something that we can use in most of the basics machine that we have. So let's continue with this. In order to add this function, it's very simple. We just need to go to programming, select this icon over here, this square with the three points, and then click and put it in the place that we want. Here we need to be careful because depending on where you put this block you have the operation block that we want or you have the comparison and operation expression so it would depend in which part of the code uh, you put it but let's gonna see it later okay and there is something that you cannot do is to put this operator block in the first column continue with this this is an example of the different application the standard ones that we can use. As you can see here, I'm adding uh, the variable A and the variable B, and the result will be in this variable. As you can see here, we have the colon and the equal in order to validate this operation. And when we make this kind of operation, we need to make sure that we at the same time, apple with apples. So if you are trying to add um, integer value, integer variable with um, float variable is not going to work and we need to use the conversion that we have in here in the pass. Uh, this one's over here. We need to use this in order to make the operation that we want. So let's continue over here. Okay, and this is important. If we want to make this operation block work, we must add this, the colon and equal, in order to move the value that we have in the operation into the variable that result, okay, that we're going to have. And we can use the symbol, as you can see here in the top, or the address of the variables. Here you can see how I add different kind of variables, okay, as you can see here I'm using a variable and a constant, and here I'm using a real variable plus um, multiply but 10.0. This is important that when you use float, uh, float variables, it hide that decimal point. So if you're using constant values, add the decimal point in there. And in here is a complete structure, so there is a mix. We are adding the bar A to the bar C that we have here, which is a float variable. Okay, so I change this a converter, real to int of this operation I have inside. So here I am creating a, a mathematical expression with more than two operands in here. So we have, we can define here, we can divide the, oper the mathematical operation as you can see over here, there is not just two numbers, okay, or two variables. We can make this a little bit more complex. 
that just adding or multiplying numbers and it's important let me just double check here so you can see it clear it's important here add the dot to the variable okay the decimal point when we are using float let's continue okay so now what we're going to do is to still playing with our application that we have for the conveyor belt and we are going to count the amount of times the the motor is running okay so what we're going to do is to create the POG uh, PRG underscore MGMT for management we're going to define a symbol for the percentage NW0 and then we're going to add this code in our application so if we go to the software now okay let's use this add po prg underscore mgmt i'm gonna call it before the output here i'm using the auxiliar or not the q0.0 and here let me just double check and using the variable percentage mw so we can go to the memory object in the tools memory words and here we need to assign the variable name so let me just double check the name for this in motor counter so in motor counter Okay, so we're going to add here the amount of time that the motor has been activated. So we have seen this before. I'm going to use it. Motor. We have seen before the rise edge. Okay, that we cannot use this one because we get the error. That's why I use the normal contact and the function block. And here I'm going to use this. So percentage NW0 colon equal percentage nw0 plus one so every time the motor is activated it's going to count one over here let's go to the simulation now okay so play and drag this over here so Let's activate the motor. Okay, it counts. Okay, I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna run it again. Oh, I need to remove the sensor now. Run again. Let's start counting. Okay, counting. And there we go. So, in this way, you can see the amount of time that the motor has been activated. And if you want, you can trigger like an alarm or service alarm. If it reach 100, just need to call the service. And the important thing is how you can use the this. So if you see, you can drag it over here. Uh, if you drag the comparison, the operation block, it allows you to create a comp an operation in the middle or a comparison that in the next video I'm going to show you how to make the comparison block okay uh, what I want to show you is this if you add this over here you have this and here you can see the different functions that we have and you can organize this you have the ASCII you have the communication okay the string instruction Floating point. There you go. Numerical processing. Okay, we're gonna work on this one later. PID table. Okay, and then we can create functions in order to call it in here. Okay, so this operation block is a useful tool. Um, that allows us to make any mathematical operation the basic are easy to create them plus add uh, add subtract 
divide and multiply is very easy you just need to be aware of the type of variable that you're going to use in order to make the operation the the mathematical operation and if you have variables that are different just use the conversion over there so this is it for the operation block so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you in the next one Thank you.